Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. To all of my returning subscribers, you know that I love having you here. To all of my new subscribers, welcome. My name is Dominique and I am so thrilled to see so many new faces around here. So, I'm gonna get right into today's video. It will focus on the top relaxed hair care tips that I have learned over the past year. These have really worked for me and I've tried them, I believe in them, and I wanna pass on the knowledge to you because I really feel that they're beneficial in anybody's relaxed hair care journey. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell so that you do not miss any of my content here on YouTube. Okay, let's get into this. Protein treatment should be a staple in any relaxed hair care routine. Protein is really, really beneficial at strengthening the hair, especially after a relaxer treatment. It helps rebuild those bonds that have been broken down during the relaxer treatment. It fills in those gaps, those breaks that occur in the hair care shaft. Also from mistreatment, direct heat, you name it. It's not a total solution for damage, but it really, really does help. Protein treatments help with the elasticity of your hair. Elasticity is how much your hair stretches before it snaps. Good elasticity is really beneficial when it comes to combing your hair, manipulating your hair. That's something that you shouldn't be doing too much of anyways, but you want your hair to have enough give so that it's not breaking all over the place when you're styling or even touching your hair or moving your head. Protein treatment should be used as the instructions are dictated on whatever bottle it comes in. Don't apply a protein treatment to your hair and then go to bed. Don't leave it on for hours on end. That can result in protein overload, which is virtually impossible to correct without a big chop. So while they're really, really beneficial, you have to be careful with them and use them as instructed. You also need to find the right protein treatment for you. One protein treatment does not fit all. Some protein treatments leave hair feeling hard and crunchy. That's a sign of protein overload right there. Other protein treatments are just right. So try some out, find one that works for you, and start using it on a routine. I really like the ORS olive oil treatment. It has sweet orange oil in it. It's delicate yet effective, and I use it once a month. And that's all I need to strengthen my hair and maintain the health of my hair. My next hair care tip that sounds a little crazy, that sounds a little out there but actually works, is massaging your scalp. It doesn't matter what you massage your scalp with. It could be your fingers or one of those scalp massagers that's you know battery operated or rechargeable, you name it, as long as you're doing it. Massaging your scalp increases blood circulation to the follicles of your hair. When you increase the blood circulation to the follicles of your hair, it grows more quickly because all of that nourishing blood is helping along the follicles, helping the follicles create healthy hair a little bit faster. If your goal is long hair, you may want to start doing this. I always say to anybody, healthy hair over long hair because you don't want long, stringy, damaged hair, but a great start is at the roots. So when I deep condition my hair, I apply it in the shower, and we're in the middle of a quarantine, the salons are closed, and I know that my regrowth is getting out of hand. I put on the deep conditioner, concentrating on the roots, and then I massage it into my scalp. I kill two birds with one stone that way. I deep condition my regrowth, causing it to be soft and manageable, and I'm increasing blood circulation to those follicles. So, like I keep saying, healthy hair starts here, so start massaging your scalp. It feels great and it's really beneficial for your hair. So the next tip, something that you may want to consider, it's a little bit of an investment, is steaming your hair. Find one of those hooded steamers. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them at beauty supply stores, and Apply your deep conditioner and sit under the hooded steamer for, you know, 10-15 minutes. It really helps to penetrate 
that beneficial deep conditioner into the strands of your hair. When you do this, it increases elasticity and it promotes healthy, softer, manageable hair. Those of you who text lax, you like a little texture, you like a little curl in your hair, you will notice that when you start doing this, your hair will be less frizzy, your curls will be more defined, those waves will be more defined. Without the frizziness also, you eliminate dryness and with eliminating dryness, you will eliminate breakage. All right, guys, what you eat and drink has a direct effect on your internal body health. Healthy hair starts from the inside. If you're eating all sorts of junk, if you're not eating enough, if you're eating too much of the wrong foods, it shows. So a great example are those who suffer with anorexia. Not only do they look too thin, they look a little starved and emaciated, you can see it in their hair. That's because the hair follicles aren't receiving enough nutrients from food intake. So take this as a lesson learned. Clean up your diet, eat enough vegetables, eat lots of fruits, drink a ton of water. It doesn't matter if you don't like it, just stomach it and get it into you. Add lemons, add cucumber, add berries. It doesn't matter, just do whatever it takes to make it taste good and drink as much of it as you can. Water hydrates your hair. And when your hair is hydrated, it's easier to manage. It grows faster, it looks shinier, the whole nine yards. On top of all of that, Invest in a few hair supplements. You can get biotin pills from any health food store. Uh, apparently liquid biotin results in less breakouts. When you add biotin to your diet, especially in pill form, it apparently makes you break out a little worse. Bi liquid biotin is supposed to cut down on that. You can also get those hair vitamins. They're sold by Centrum. Um, Vita Fusion, you name it, there is a ton out there that you can use. You never know what little mineral, what little ingredient in a vitamin is going to ultimately unlock that special something in your body that will boost your health overall. On top of all of this, I take Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides, I mix it into coffee, I mix it into smoothies, and collagen is proven to strengthen your hair, skin, and nails. So you guys know that I love myself good satin accessories for your hair. I wrap my hair every single night without fail to reduce the friction caused by pillowcases. I use, I double up, I use a satin head wrap. I wrap my hair and I use a satin head wrap every single night and I use a silk pillowcase. Wrapping your hair every night, like I said, reduces friction. It cuts the friction out completely. When you're tossing and turning and rubbing your hair up against a cotton pillowcase, it sucks the moisture out of your hair, it promotes frizz, it promotes dryness, and it causes breakage, okay? So just, just do it. And then if you don't like sleeping in a satin bonnet or a satin head wrap, use the pillowcase. Put your, like, pineapple up your hair, you know, use a ponytail and rest assured that you're doing something to promote your hair health. What I like to do is rotate my silk pillowcases also. Silk is prone to sucking up a lot of oil from your face, a lot of oil from your hair, which can result in breakouts. So I change my pillowcase every other day. So I have five or six silk pillowcases that I have on rotation and that really cuts down on any skin issues. So the next tip is something I've learned within the last year and it makes so much sense. And that is replacing your hair tools regularly, especially bristle brushes. When you have a bristle brush that's too old, its bristles start to split and fray, kind of like an old toothbrush. When it starts looking like this, it's time to get rid of it. When the bristles are so old that they fray, when you use them, it snags your hair and causes breakage from the root right down to the tip, so get rid of those. Also, wash your hair tools regularly. Use shampoo, use baby shampoo, whatever. I like to clean my combs and brushes once a week. I use both every single day. Since I've started doing that, I just noticed that, especially here, I have less breakage. I started replacing my brushes once a year. 
I love bristle brushes, natural bristle brushes. I feel like they promote shine and they do a really good job at laying your edges, lay, like getting rid of flyaways, the whole nine yards. But I was using, I'm ashamed to say, a brush that was like 10, 12 years old and I was getting a lot of breakage right here. And my stylist Gloria is like, what are you doing to your hair that you always have all these short, like frayed ends? And she was the one who told me to, when I told her that I would brush my hair down flat right there a lot, she asked me how long I'd had my brush for and I told her and she almost fell over. So be sure to replace your brushes, have a good look at them, make sure that they're not frayed and too old and go ahead and treat yourself to a new one. Embracing leave-in treatments. I love myself a good conditioning leave-in treatment. I use them every single time I wash my hair. There is a ton of great ones out on the market, so find one that really works for your hair. I always look for ones that are A, very detangling, and two, very conditioning. I really like to layer my hair care conditioning treatments. Some favorites that I use are leave-in treatments by Shea Moisture. I really like that marshmallow extract one that I sh I've shown you guys in the last few videos. I love ones by Schwarzkopf. They have a really great biphase one. So biphase meaning it's it's half oil and half liquid. You shake it up, you spray it onto your hair, and it is like one of the best detanglers I have ever seen. I can't remember the name of it, and it doesn't matter anyways, they discontinued it, but they're always replacing it with comparable products. I'll find it and I will link it in the description box for you. But yeah, make sure that you are using a good leave-in treatment, one that's highly conditioning, and look for one that's also detangling, especially now with salon closures when we are all on the struggle bus trying to manage our regrowth, honeys. Trust me, just find one and use it every single time that you wash your hair. So this was something that was taught to me in aesthetic school. I am a certified esthetician and I worked in a spa for a really long time as primarily a facialist and manicurist pedicurist. I used to work in an Aveda salon and they really, I always thought it was sort of a cash grab. I always thought it was the brand trying to make as much money as possible, but they really, really went on and on and on about the importance of buying all of your products from one line. And as I've been doing my research, it's not only Aveda that really, really holds to that, it's a lot of brands. When I did my research, I found out that all of these brands formulate all of their products to work together. So, you know, a shampoo works best with a conditioner of the same line, of the same brand, and leave-in treatments work best when they're used after the conditioner and the shampoo of that same line. Now, all of these products are formulated to work really, really well together. And I, I, I guess this really does make sense. If you are using a clarifying shampoo that's that's harsh, that's high in pH, you may want to use a deep conditioner from that same line that has, you know, a much lower pH to balance out that shampoo. This is something that hair care gurus on YouTube also talk about. When I was using the Joyco Moisture Recovery line religiously, I was using the shampoo, the conditioner, and the treatment balm, I feel like my hair really flourished and it looked fantastic. When I started mixing stuff together, you know, maybe I didn't get quite the same results. But you know what, I should preface all of this by saying it's sort of hard to do, to stick to using products all from the same brand. It gets really expensive if you're using high-end brands. And what happens when they discontinue it, you know? So that's something to think of. It's something that you may want to consider. High manipulation styles like braid outs, twist outs, bantu knots, styles where your hands are always in your hair, that can cause stress on your hair. They do cause stress on your hair and it causes breakage. Ah yes, the low manipulation hairstyle. These are key if you want to grow your relaxed hair or retain the length of your relaxed hair. You want low manipulation styles that you know, prevent you from having your hair, having your hands, sorry, in your hair all the time. Keep your hair off your clothes so it's not, you know, breaking from the friction of rubbing up against coats and sweaters and the whole nine yards. 
All that stretching and pulling and tugging and braiding from bantu knots and twist outs and braids, the whole nine yards, that causes a lot of stress on your hair. Some people can take it. Some people have really strong, resilient hair. If those styles like braids, bantu knots, whatever, work for you and you're retaining length and your hair is growing, then Godspeed, go with it, stick with it. But if you find that your hair is always frizzy and dry and breaking, you need to start implementing a low manipulation style. You need to get comfortable with changing up those styles. You know, you find something you like, something that you're comfortable wearing, something that makes you feel beautiful, that also promotes the health of your hair. Lastly, I mean, this is a tip that I talk about to death, is getting a trim. You really, really need to get comfortable with hair health over hair length. Like I've mentioned in this video before, it doesn't make sense to have really long, stringy, ratty looking hair. I would rather have short, full, thick, healthy, shiny hair any day over hair that looks like something Joe Exotic would be proud to wear. <laughs> So you gotta trim your hair to get rid of split ends. It's absolutely mandatory to get regular trims. And I'm not talking, you know, going to the hair salon every six, eight weeks and getting, you know, an inch or two cut off your hair that, you know, you'll be bald in no time. But, you know, dust your ends. That means where you're taking off just a little bit so that it looks like dust on the floor. And that can really prevent split ends from taking root and traveling up the whole shaft of your hair. If you find that your hair always looks frizzy, dull, and dry, especially at the ends, you gotta get a haircut. You gotta trim those split ends out of your hair. Now, I personally get a trim about, I, I've actually been trying to get a trim every four months. I think that really works for me. Every four months I'm able to, you know, get that dusting, get that trim and still be able to retain length and still be able to get hair growth. You know, a rule of thumb is getting a little bit of a trim every time you relax your hair. I think that stands if you are getting your hair relaxed every four months or so. If you are a great stretcher and you're stretching for like six, seven, eight months, you have to ensure that you're getting a trim more frequently than your relaxer time. So I hope that these tips help you. I hope that this new information proves beneficial for your own hair care journey. I know that this outbreak is terrible. It's been devastating across the world. I myself am trying to make the best of it. I'm very privileged to be able to work from home and uh, learn a lot and share it with you guys. I really pray that all of you guys are managing well during this difficult time. I work in public health, as a matter of fact, and I really, really am looking forward to when the world heals and the quarantine is lifted. In the meantime, I am very blessed to have this time to research things and try them out on myself and share them with you. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Dominique.Baker and Style Domination and check out my blog at StyleDomination.com. Alright guys, be safe, stay at home, social distance, physical distance, the whole nine yards. I love you guys. See you in the next video.